going to be taking a look at where our video games are taking us with the new tech, big ideas and a big shift in what video games mean to society. By the end of this video I can safely say you'll be stoked on the future of gaming so let's get into it. The advancements in game engines as of late that we have seen from the likes of Unreal Engine 5 and other game engines are just the start of the new revolutionary wave in video game design. With these new features and tools, it makes it possible for more developers to provide more realistic virtual worlds than we've ever seen before. With the inevitable progress of GPUs, we'll be able to process a significant amount more. One example is that we're starting to see a lot more ray tracing. The reason ray tracing is such a big deal is rather than the approximations you get with shadow maps, ray tracing offers dynamically generated photorealistic shadows, whereas before you'd have to pre-compute them, a much more time consuming task for devs. And as well as ray tracing, we'll continue to see much more progress with complex 3D graphic design and new pixel processing techniques, along with tools that will allow developers to be much more creative and effective on a larger scale. All these advancements not only allow big studios to create even better and bigger worlds, but it's an even bigger deal for the small indie teams that in the past were restricted in scale due to time, tech and manpower. Imagine what they could do with this new tech in the near future. There are already a few examples of smaller, even one person developer teams making it big in the gaming industry. This is my personal favorite change I'm looking forward to the most as big companies don't often like to take the same creative risks the smaller teams seem to like doing. Artificial intelligence is going to be another huge part of the future of our video games. There will be a large role to play for computer algorithms where machines are able to think, learn and act like humans. Developers are already trying out new methods using AI to create games that evolve on their own based on what the player is doing in game. Using procedural generation, these games create new worlds algorithmically rather than using the traditional manual code that we have in current games. An example of this is an AI that responds to a player's decisions and actions in game to develop new situations, characters, challenges, and the list goes on with its potential ability to create on the fly content at insane speeds. We've already seen this in action on a smaller scale. We can see this in No Man's Sky's billions of stars and planets using this very technique. Combine this with the inevitable advancements within the virtual reality world and you have a sci-fi fan's wet dream. I didn't believe these simulations could be this real. Speaking of virtual reality and augmented reality, they are finally getting the recognition they deserve. As it becomes more affordable and more enjoyable, some will still say that VR is a bit of a gimmick. However, one stat that might surprise you like it did me when I was researching this video is that there are more Meta Quest 2 headsets that have been sold than the Xbox Series X and S combined. The thing that we need to see in the coming years, however, and I think it's inevitable, is that we need VR to be more accessible, affordable, and we need much more guaranteed content, but it needs to be much more comfortable. As VR does progress in all of these avenues and become something devs incorporate into their games, it's only a matter of time until having VR a part of the game will seem compulsory to a consumer and no longer just a gimmick or something you can only play for a short amount of time before getting motion sickness or feeling like your brain's gonna explode from carrying a fucking fridge on the front of your head. What the whole fridge on it? The perfect example of the future standard has got to be, in my opinion, Resident Evil 7. An incredible game both with VR and without, and the VR is so well optimized that if you've not been convinced by VR yet, you definitely have to check Resident Evil 7 in VR out. Another big game changer, but maybe one some people have not considered yet, is going to be cloud gaming. The process of streaming a video game brings with it from not only needing to download content to be able to play it, or to an even bigger benefit, actually be capable of playing on the most basic of hardware, as most of the work will be done on the server. This will create a much larger audience that can access games. Plenty of people can't afford a new console or gaming PC to access modern games and with the cloud that could all change. The problem right now is it's still in its early years and until internet connections progress to a much larger and faster capability, players will choose having the game installed on their hardware, especially for multiplayer where latency is a serious issue. But have no doubt that in the future, when internet speeds catch up, it's definitely looking bright for cloud gaming. But we've all heard Zuck talk about the metaverse. Let me out! In theory, the metaverse is a gamer's nirvana, a place where you can immerse yourself in any digital world designed to connect users all across the world with a shared digital platform to interact with each other. The persistent nature of the metaverse is its main selling point. It means that players do not require to switch on or exit the gaming platform. It exists even after they finish playing their session. Today, games like Second Life, Minecraft, Rec Room and Roblox represent the beginning in the metaverse development. The activity remains largely experimental and no 
one really knows or understands what it will look like in a few years from now. But still, business leaders from Walt Disney to Ferrari are talking about how they're looking to put their brand in the metaverse. Not a huge deal when you think, well, so what? But the more these big companies get involved in using these virtual spaces, the more funding that goes into projects to allow people to explore these virtual spaces. That will then in turn allow them to be suckered into buying a Ferrari or go Disneyland. So it's in everyone's best interest to develop the metaverse and why it seems like an inevitability at this point. This is just another reason why we are likely to experience a much enhanced version of the metaverse in the future. And due to the nature of what video games are and being the front runners of the metaverse, it's safe to say this will have a big impact on the gaming industry and what we perceive to be a video game. So to come back around to the start of the video, we have looked at the awesome revolutionary tech and what to expect from it, light speed cloud gaming, virtual reality headsets and a metaverse growing like 2022's gamers love for a certain characters trailer. This will in time change the video game industry in a way that right now it's hard to even comprehend. So are you stoked? Because I am. Anyways guys, let me know down below what you would like to see change in the industry and what you're most excited for and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.